far we have discussed about the different subatomic particles which were electron and proton. We have discussed that these were discovered with the help of discharge tube experiment. On the basis of that now we are just moving towards the next part in which we will discuss about the atomic structure. Atomic structure was proposed by different scientists. As Dalton proposed in his atomic theory that atom is the smallest constituent of matter. In the similar manner different scientists were there who proposed different theories related to structure of atom. How subatomic particles are present in the atom that was proposed by them in which we have the different structure of atoms in which the first one is Thomson's atomic model, the next one Rutherford's atomic model that is more advanced than the Bohr's atomic model, more advanced as compared to Rutherford and Thomson. In this chapter we'll discuss these atomic models while if we talk about this lecture we'll discuss about Thomson's atomic model only. This was the first model which was proposed by J.J. Thomson. J.J. Thomson, the scientist who discovered electron also with the help of discharge tube experiment you might be knowing. Now after that it is also known as apple pie model, another name for this model. Plum pudding model is also Thomson's atomic model. So basically plum pudding model and Thomson's atomic model are same and it is also known as watermelon model, quite interesting names these are apple pie model, plum pudding model, watermelon model. These are the names which are proposed for Thomson's atomic model. Now question arises why? Why we are using these names? Basically if we talk about Thomson's atomic model it states that this is basically the model in which the positively charged mass is there and in that positively charged mass electrons are embedded in it. And this can be also understood with the help of a watermelon. So if we talk about watermelon, the red part of the watermelon is showing the positive mass. And electrons are embedded in positive part like the seeds in the watermelon. So the black seeds that you can clearly see here are showing that the electrons are embedded in positive mass. If we talk about apple pie model, instead of this if you take apple pie then you will also observe that the particles of apple which are present here are like the electron and the whole pudding is just like the positive mass. In the similar manner plum pudding model can also be explained on this basis. Simply plum pudding has the pudding there that is showing the positive charge present and the raisins present here are like the electrons. So simply Thomson's model states that whole the atom is positive mass and electrons are embedded in it. That was proposed by Thomson. But one thing you should know that positive charge and the negative charge has force of attraction. And if this negative charge is embedded in positive charge, the possibility of the existence of this model is quite low. That is also considered as the limitation of this model also. I hope you are able to identify that what is Thomson's model, how Thomson's arranged the electrons in the atom and how this is understood with the help of this model. Let us see the few postulates of Thomson's atomic model. The first one, an atom contains negatively charged particles called electron because electrons were discovered by Thomson. So he just took here electrons and as per him the negatively charged particles are present in the atom. How these are present in the atom we already seen that electrons are uniformly embedded throughout the positively charged spherical mass. I am just going to show you again the structure the spherical positive mass is there and electrons are embedded in it like apple pie or the watermelon or plum pudding. Now since an atom is electrically neutral the total positive charge is equal to the total negative charge. It means the whole mass is positive charge, the total positive charge present there is equal to the total negative charge. It means whatever be the positive charge there would be the same amount of electrons are present to balance that positive charge. And on that basis we can also say that the total number of electrons should be equal to the 
total number of protons that's another subatomic particle which is present inside atom total number of electron is equal to total number of protons that model was proposed by thomson and yes it was the first atomic model so it was quite important before him there was nobody who has described atom in this manner so basically thomson's atomic model is quite important but still it has certain limitations that is why a number of atomic models came further